Please welcome the Knight of Her Majesty the Queen of England, Sir Christopher Lee. Unfortunately, I have to play a rather disturbing role. <laughs> I have done some before, but this time it's me as me on this wonderful evening. And I'm sure you'll accept what I will be doing. Thanks to modern communication techniques, human beings are closer to each other than they have ever been. However, at the same time, there's an appalling tendency towards indifference and resignation. Why many of you have, well, I don't say why, it's a fact. Many of you have the capacity to move the minds and the hearts of many, many people. And this is why I want you, I want to ask you, share the following message with your audience wherever you can and whenever you can. It is a letter from Heba. Heba, a 17-year-old girl from Syria. My name is Heba, and I'm 17 years old. I was born in Dera. I'm Syrian only Syrian. My bitter reality repeats itself every day as my Syrian dream evaporates. My heart bleeds every day and my dreams are shattered. I use to be happy. My dream was to go to university and study pharmacy. It was a big dream, but it got smashed. It was on my mind and in my heart, but it has been reduced to ash. Now I'm just sad. All those beautiful, tender feelings are now gone. The smile is now choked down. Now all you read on Syrian faces is pure misery. I still want to go back to Syria and get my life back. To anyone who has the power to affect my country's future and reassure broken hopes, I ask you, don't you feel our pain? Syria is calling for help. Can't you hear us? What happened to your feelings? Can't you see us on your television screens? Don't you want to help us? We just want our dreams 
to come true. I want my dream to come true. I want to build the Syria of the future. I want peace to come back to my country and I want all Syrians to be reunited. I hope that my dream will come true. Thank you.